What is up guys my name is Talha and you are watching Gadgets Sphere in today's video i'm going to talk about the best custom room for the Poco X3 Pro now in this video i have tried a lot of custom rooms we have tried the Android 12 Beta 5 i have tried the Oxygen OS OP Beta 7 i have also tried the Dot OS 5.1.3 and also the Gladiator OS now i have tried these four custom rooms within a period of 5 days and yeah it's really hard to make videos right now because my exams are going on so if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe now let's talk about the custom rooms which i have tried number 1 starting off with the android 12 beta 5 like i'm very impressed with that beta that was the smoothest custom room i have tried everything is flawless without a doubt everything works without any problem i have tried that room many times like and every time i saw one thing that is there are few crashes and bugs obviously it is an android beta and beta rooms have crashes and bugs but considering it is from a port it is a port as well as a beta and uh, it is ported to the Poco X3 Pro and that is working very stable now let's talk about the oxygen os now for those of you who want to play bgmi in 90 fps this is the room for you it has 90 fps smooth and 90 fps without any config you don't need to care about it and also the gladiator os also gives you 90 fps without a doubt that's really awesome but there is a big but in these two rooms now i'm going to talk about the bugs as well because in the last video i got a complaint that is i'm just telling about the good things and the best things so in this video i'm going to cover both of these things so if this video might be a little long don't worry because this video is very helpful for those who are looking to get a new custom room for their poco x3 pro now let's talk about the bugs first of all in the oxygen os we have three main bugs which really annoyed me first of all we have the brightness bug really awful just really awful second we have the dark mode bug that is in the brightness bug if you decrease the brightness it takes 2 seconds to just decrease the brightness or increase the brightness that's the bug in dark mode we have if you switch to dark mode the lowest brightness will be a very high that's one bug and the third thing is the room is overall not that smooth it's scrolling in in chrome got me a little you know hiccups i saw those hiccups and i felt like oh this should be a little more smooth that's one thing now 90 90 hertz does work really nice in that room that's really awesome and overall that room is very stable but there's one very thing big thing which i want to tell you that is notifications delay in the oxygen os port beta 7 for the poco x3 pro we have notifications delay the worst bug of all time like if that bug would not be there i would personally you know use that room only not come back to the pixel experience at as i am using the pixel experience plus room right now now let's talk about the notification delay first of all what happened was i was using that phone and wifi was on all the time in my house i have wifi luckily and i have turned it on all the time what happened was one of my cousins messaged me now that message was very important to me and i received that message 3 hours later that's really awful like at least a notification should have come or like a sound of notification nothing happened the phone didn't even reacted so that is very awful i just became very frustrated like why are the notifications so delaying and that also happened with youtube studio like you know when you guys comment i get a notification from the youtube studio that one of you has commented those beautiful comments saying thank you and you are the best <laughs> i i really appreciate you guys so i also got those very delayed like 5 hours after the comment has been posted and because of that i was unable to interact with you guys as frequently as i usually do so these things really annoyed me and that's the main reason i just switch back to the pixel experience plus now in the meantime i have also tried dot os okay dot os 5.1.3 and to be honest that was an awesome perfect custom room if it did had one bug and the bug was in itself of the theming now you know dot os says that theming is very futuristic very new it has everything you ever need that's true you know i'm not saying it's bad but the thing is when i went into the wallpaper section to theme the uh, you know the room if i tap on any color besides the given there it just crashes the wallpaper app that's really awful like if you are saying that your main objective is just getting new colors and new themes and getting that amazing smoothness by the way i don't respect uh, i don't uh, disrespect dotos i absolutely respect them their team is awesome wonderful the smoothness is also on power but the poco x3 pro had that bug that is i was unable to change the colors of the accent colors so that's one thing which annoyed me really well that's one thing in dotos overall there is no notifications delay the 
UI is very very smooth the setting app looks very interactive you can uh, you know customize the smartphone to your liking so overall dot OS is very good for those who are looking for a stable room now let's talk about gladiator OS like your favorite room is finally covered by gadgets sphere so if you're new subscribe and give it a big thumbs up now let's talk about gladiator OS gladiator OS no doubt really awesome really smooth but it has few bugs that is it is not as fast and as fluid as miui eu like obviously gladiator os is based on miui and i have faced a lot of bugs in that room basically you know that room first of all opening chrome takes up a lot of time the room heats up a lot but yes it gives you 90 fps in bgmi or pubg that's really awesome so that's pretty much it for today's video i will make a part three of this video as well now conclusion of this video is basically you can try out all of these rooms but the most stable one which i found out was still the pixel experience.